Abdul Hakim Amir is on a grim mission. He is looking for the remains of his son Ahmed, who was on a bus targeted in a Saudi Emirati airstrike in northern Yemen. He climbs onto the wreckage of the bus in the rubble of the destroyed market buildings. Desperately, he searches for any signs, and then he breaks down. The children were returning from a summer camp when the attack happened. I just found some of what the child was wearing. I didn't find any of his remains, not his finger, not his bone, not his skull, nothing. I looked through all the remains in the hospital and I didn't see anything. Video from Houthi Run television shows the children boarding the bus that morning. They all seem happy, excited. To save the children says Yemen is the worst place in the world to be a child. It's not hard to see why when you watch these pictures taken moments after the airstrike. Body parts are strewn around. Injured children, some with limbs missing, lie in agony. It was the worst attack on children since Yemen's brutal war escalated in 2015, according to UNICEF. In a cemetery in Saada province, 29 child-sized graves have been dug. But a joint funeral for the children has been ruled out due to security concerns. Houthi fighters say they feared the gathering would be targeted by more airstrikes. The Saudi Emirati coalition initially denied aiming at civilians and defended the incident as a legitimate military operation. A response is said to a ballistic missile fired into Saudi Arabia the previous day. But hours later, the coalition promised an investigation. Houthi fighters say they're willing to cooperate in any inquiry. In condemning the attack, Antonio Guterres, the UN Secretary General, also called for a swift and international investigation into it. Those words and the growing chorus of condemnation is instilling some hope in Yemenis that the war in their country is finally getting some attention. Mohammed Adou Al Jazeera, Djibouti.